Skylum Luminar Neo uses all the power of AI to make editing and enhancing your photos as simple and as direct as possible. Hello, I'm Rod Lawton, and this is a video for amateur photographer on the power of the AI adjustments and enhancements in Skylum Luminar Neo. Now in Skylum Luminar Neo, you'll see that a lot of the tools have an AI symbol next to them, such as Enhance AI, Sky AI, Structure AI, and so on. These use artificial intelligence to identify just those areas of the image that should be adjusted. And it's probably going to be easiest to explain this with a couple of examples. So let's take a look at this image shot very late in the day with the last rays of the sun just lighting up the sides of these buildings. Let's see if we can add a little atmosphere to this. Now I'm going to start off with the Sky AI tool because I think this image might benefit from a different sky. So let's have a look to see what kind of sky images we've got. And if I go through the categories, it seems, uh, it seems the best match is going to be Dramatic Sunset. I think Dramatic Sunset, let's have a quick look, perhaps, or even just the regular sunset category maybe one of these i think i might try this guy here now you'll see that straight away luminar has identified just the sky area of the scene and substituted the new sky there's really very little else that we need to do this is all done with ai this is how quick it can be so we've replaced the sky let's just leave that for now let's have a look at uh, another ai tool how about the Twilight Enhancer? Because this is kind of like a Twilight shot. So I've selected that and you can see we've got quite a few options here. I'm going to close this down because I don't want to make it too complicated. So really all we need to do is look at the top section. We've got a selection of colours here and we've got an amount slider. Now you won't see any effect from any of the colours until you change the amount. So just so that we can see what's happening, I'll push this right up to 100. That is a pretty strong effect, as you can see. And now, if we try different colours, you'll see how they look. So I'm just having a quick scan through these. I think the mauve effect we had first is the best one. So this is quite striking. It's a little dark, so maybe I'll just bump up the exposure a little. No, I don't know. That's about right. I can increase the amount or reduce the amount. I think I'll push it up to about there. So I don't know, after a couple more adjustments, I think I'll stop there. So all well and good. Let's have a look at one more enhancement tool. Let's go for Structure AI. Now what Structure AI does is it improves the structure or the definition of objects in the scene, but it does it selectively using AI to work out which subjects and areas need more structure and which don't. So for example, this tool will not add structure to people's faces because that would make them look just artificially enhanced and just plain wrong. So let's give it a go, see what happens. So we can try adjusting the amount, which is currently set to zero. We can push that right up and you'll see what's happening here. So everything has a lot more clarity and definition. There is another boost slider here if you need it to increase the effect still further. And I guess maybe we'll just stop there. Just remember that what you're looking for is a tool with AI after the name. So in the essential section, you've got structure AI. In the landscape section, we have the twilight enhancer that we've just used. We have an atmosphere AI tool. We have a water enhancer tool. In the creative section, we have a relighting tool and I can show you quickly how this works. This makes the nearer parts of the photograph look brighter and the farther parts look darker. So let's, we can just increase the brightness of the near parts a little, reduce the brightness of the far parts, and we can change the distance at which this happens. We also have AI tools in the portrait section. Now this is a whole different field which needs its own video so we'll come to that another time so let's stop there we've had a quick look at luminar neo's ai tools and how they work and how simple they are to use because 
everything is done for you automatically and you can just control the strength of the effect rather than getting bogged down in all sorts of adjustment and masking details. So that's it for this video. I hope you found it useful and see you next time.